Oh, early stream, cool. Yeah, um, I'll explain in a bit when I get enough people in. In the meantime, having myself a pretty big and kind of healthy breakfast. I'm having a piece of orange, so that counts. There's veggies that I cooked in my eggs, so I guess that also counts. It's fine, equestrian. Um, yeah, equestrian guy, it's... I know what you mean. You know, I'm not gonna be a grammar Nazi like a lot of people are. Hey, Fitstar, how you doing? Y'all have to excuse the clinging, um, or the clang noises. Having myself breakfast while I'm getting myself, uh, ready to stream. Go ahead and just move that over here. In the meantime, let's uh, I've already got the chat box. Um, where is it? Okay, I'm just gonna put that at the top as well as the alert box. Yeah. Still getting everything set up. Every time I get started, I always gotta like project little window things so that way things don't get uh, hectic, you know? Yeah, good morning to you too. Um, uh, yeah, that's a... There's a little alert box right there. Let's drop him here. Derek, you must be living in the central side of the U.S. at that point. <laughs> Because it's 10 a.m. here. Wait, kind of under the weather, but doing okay. Oh, don't you just love that? When you're under the weather, you're not feeling good. Oh, so it's, there's another Texas Brony. Texas seems to be a pretty big state for a lot of Bronies. Or at least I noticed, I mean... Bliss lives there. Um, other people live there. Like, I don't want to go dropping names because some people prefer to keep their locations private. But I think most people already know about, you know, what I mentioned earlier. How many viewers do I have right now? Thirteen and counting. Okay, so we're here. You must be on the East Coast. Not 83, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, 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 how's everyone? Hey, um, hey, Neon Blader. I am doing fine. I'm going to go ahead and send that out. You're subscribed for five months. Cool. Hmm. Flabbergasting <laughs> what bamboo. Thank you for following. What's with the love snooze? Hmm. Here are some potions in return. You'll need them to survive. <laughs> you might as well be that old man from Zelda. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this.
just alerted my bros so that they may come along soon. So, for breakfast, I had scrambled eggs with a soft taco shell wrapped. So, you had an egg taco? So that's what it sounds like. Yeah, the veggies, I got diced potatoes, green beans, and carrots. And the main course is uh, pancakes. I love how we transition to talking about what we had for breakfast while it's the fucking afternoon for me here. Spinel, I'm guessing you, um, you're on the uh, East Coast. Did you put syrup on your pancake first? Um, yeah. And then I put melted butter uh, after that. So that way it zoomed in out the, um, the pancake itself. Breakfast is for generally pizza roll, French bread pizza, whatever, or whatever is for leftover from the night before. Hmm. The UK needs IHOP. <laughs> hmm. I should get the call started. Radio Demon Alistair, thank you for following. Oh, fuck. We have Alistair uh, watching the stream. So what can I do for you, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. No. I don't typically eat breakfast because I've been waking up around lunch lately. How the hell did she get out of hell? <laughs> Two new followers and it's just a pre-show. People like you, Fox. Um, I get a lot of notifications, so there's a lot to keep track of, but I do appreciate the support. See, I know what you said about the games you can play, but do you think your computer would be able to handle the DS simulator? Um, I think that's a little too recent. Uh, I believe the two DS emulators we have are... Okay. <gasps> uh, oh, fucking hell. Mm, that's a lot to burp out. You know, it's not very often that I eat oranges. When I was a kid, I used to hate eating oranges because I didn't like the little flaky stuff. I just like sucking the juice out of it. But every time I do now, whenever I try to eat off the, like, whatever's inside there, it just slides off my teeth. Like, I can barely eat it. Maybe that's just me. If it kills you, I'll have some jambalaya. Oh my god. People are caught in Hasman Hotel. <laughs> yeah, whenever I try to eat in the pulp, it just slides right off my teeth. Excuse me for just a second.
to excuse the racket that's been going on outside. Darth the Lou. Oh. Okay then. I was just telling the weather. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Have you seen Infinity Train Cracked Reflection Hat? What the hell is cra Cracked Reflection? What is Infinity Train? I've never heard of that. How was Valentine's Day yesterday? Um, it was okay. We didn't do anything. Uh, Valentine's Day isn't really that, doesn't mean that much of a holiday to us. The idea of celebrating romance, it's better off that it's more universal than just one specific day of the year. Have I seen the Sonic 2020 movie? No, I haven't, but it's on my to-do list. Sonic movies gross or what? Mm. But no, I um the Sonic movies on my to see list. I've been hearing it's really good. It's got a pretty po uh, pretty decent rating on Rotten Tomatoes, like a sixty five percent. I've been hearing from a. Anybody who's been seeing it, they said they liked it, and I'm taking it with a pinch of salt. But, you know, based on this, and last year when we had Detective Pikachu, I'm starting to become much more hopeful now with video game adaptations, because up to this point, we've had video game adaptations that have been, like, obviously it's been having that reputation of being terrible, because... It failed to, you know, appeal the mass audience that you kind of have to aim for, and at the same time, deviate away from the source material. Now, I'm not saying that every video game mo movie or any adaptation of anything needs to be, you know, adapted to the source material completely. You do have to make a few changes. Ugh. But you still have to stick with the main thing that we identify with. To the point where if fans of the games are not familiar with what the movie's presenting, then yeah. Uh, case in point, Super Mario Brothers. There were so many changes to the film to try to, um, try to uh, emulate that, that, that darker theme. Like a lot of those, like that dystopian city, you know, like Blade Runner or even TMNT, the, the live action one. That's what they were trying to aim for. And it doesn't work because... That's not what we identify uh, Super Mario Brothers as. We identify as bright and colorful and silly fun. And that movie did not have that. It was ridiculous. I mean, it did have its own silliness, but not the way we remember. You know, you have, you know, Dennis Hopper's Bowser saying a bunch of weird things like, Monkey! Then there's Double Dragon, which is a complete and utter mess in and of itself that I don't need to explain further. Mortal Kombat was decent. It's the only movie I like from Paul W.S. Anderson. He would later take on the Resident Evil movies, which had nothing to do with the games, period. 
And that was the movie that started to make me hate video game adaptations because I just felt ripped off. See, I want to support it because they listen to fans and I'm a Sonic fan. Yeah, I know. Like, I... We all remember that when the first trailer was launched, people hated the original Sonic design, so they wanted to refer to his design to the iconic one that we remember. Which, the more I think about it, it definitely did a huge favor for the film. I think the biggest selling point that helps appeal to uh, general masses, and I'm saying this with a pinch of salt, it could just very much be Jim Carrey's performance because Jim Carrey's Jim Carrey. And since I've been here, like, I remember when I first heard about him playing Robotnik, I'm like, how are you going to make that work? Because Robotnik is a mad scientist. He's also been large. And then I saw the, like the last bit of the first trailer where he's got like the iconic look. He's bald and he's got those that big ridiculous mustache and puts on the uh, the goggles. I'm like okay, I can see where that's going. Been spending most of the night. Oh, the eggs are spared. As people hated that the song was used in the trailer. Eh, it's an okay choice. I mean, we're not going to have Crush 40. Which would have been nice to have, but live and learn. Let's see. I highly doubt there would be a movie sequel. Yeah, the uh, animation company shut down. Which sucks, because... Eh. That's right, I've heard the story. <laughs> That's right, I've heard this story over and over again. Gee, it's well to finally meet her other friends. Oh, uh, the animation company who made both um, the Sonic character for the Sonic movie and um, uh, the Lion King remake, the uh, company uh, shut down. That's old news at this point. Yeah, it sucks balls. It sucks major donkey sack. Because as much as I didn't like the Lion King remake, I can't really deny that they did a really good job with the photorealistic uh, you know, animation they put into it. I still don't call that live action, though. That's still really bizarre. I'm hoping the Illumination Super Mario film does well. Yeah, I've been hearing about that, and I'm a little skeptical. Because the thing about Illumination is that they seem to be more reliable on slapstick and humor because it easily appeals to the young audience, and it sells. But then you have other films that, because they're so comedically driven, you never know if you're going to get a good narrative. Or so where it does. I don't know who the company was who made Angry Birds, but I know that one also had a pretty um, pretty bad reputation. I mean, if they go for it, I hope they make it work. Maybe it'll different. Maybe it'll be some kind of iteration that will, you know, appeal the masses. I'm going to go ahead and put this plate aside somewhere. can't win it anymore. Damn it. I have to be or beat. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, my rule for animated films, just be better than the Emoji Movie. <laughs> that's easier. That's that's way too easy to do. The idea of having the Emoji Movie was incredibly stupid. It was already a bad premise, so... <gasps> uh, how long have I been live for? Almost 24 minutes, okay. <gasps> so, what's on the agenda? Well, based on what came out yesterday... Sanic. And I'm going to get into the details as I start the game. Let's see, 43 and happily married to my lovable and one of a kind, yet she's bitchy, but she like she takes after her character, Twitch named Luna. Alright. Hashtag fuck the emoji movie. A good Sanic or bad Sanic? Uh, kind of bad Sanic? It's not the Sonic Dreams collection, is it? Fuck no. I've already seen a few clips of it, and already I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I've seen the clips from Game Grumps, and I'm like, oh my god. No, no. I've seen enough for one night. That's enough internet for one day. The shit that people make. Fucking hell. <sighs> Why would you want to play that? I don't! I'm not going to! I saw it before and it's a nightmarish game. I felt bad for Keyframe. Keyframe is... The, the, better, the best way to explain is that... Because I'm trying to pick the right words here. I know there's a word here. Something that likes pain. She just likes to look and check out things that are considered bad. Just her own curiosity's sake. There's a word for that. Masochist! Thank you. God damn. Took way forever to get my brain to register for that shit. No, she's a masochist when it comes to, like, any movies or games that are, like, notorious. I want to see Golden play the Omachao oh edition. Please don't be Sonic 06. I am not touching that game with a 10-foot pole. Let's see. Death Wish? No. I'm playing the first Sonic game. Desert Samurai, I was preferring to Keyframe. She's a masochist when it comes to bad games or bad movies. Like, she wants to know, like, what's so bad about this movie? Or, what's so bad about this game? You know, that, that sort of thing. While I'm a sadist and make games suffer... That sounds like a, an unfinished sentence right there. Oh, I didn't know I just got here. That's fine, Desert. That's fine. Uh, what's the viewer count right now? 23. Okay, uh, there's plenty of you guys here. So, um, why am I streaming Saturday morning instead of Friday night? Um, last night, Chrissy, uh, Keyframe was doing her sketch stream, and I was holding it off until she would be finished, and I wanted to wait until the morning, where everybody's active and they get to see, uh, you know, see me play. The first Sonic game on the Genesis, or the game, uh, Genesis. Genesis. So, there's a possibility that one week will be Friday, another week will be Saturday. And if I'm going to do one on a Saturday, I want to do it in the morning. Where the day started and everybody's relaxing and they're just coming in. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just remembered. Um, so, uh, I'm referring to what uh, Birch has mentioned. So, I don't know if I want to get into the full details. It's a bit personal, but this is for Ripple Effect. Um, yes, Birch, go ahead and share the link completely subsided from that she did message me privately and asked me to take care of it it's a it's a per, uh, personal thing um but you know i do have my condolences for her you know to sum it up the macho edition whenever something gets touched like a ring or sign notification okay yeah so there you go Wow, it's already made a lot of progress. Almost like 1300 more dollars to go. That's awesome.
at some point after I'm done streaming, I'm also gonna paste the um, paste the link. But yeah, no, the uh, the donation goal has been making a lot of progress, and the most we can do right now is provide our condolences and give the best of luck for Ripple, because it's not fun when somebody has a relative who suffers cancer. By this point, you're probably just reading the uh, the page, um, but. I suppose I could create some kind of hashtag for Ripple. You know, just to provide, you know, legitimate support for her. As I wait for the messages to come through, because there's always a delay whenever I speak in the microphone. It takes like 10 seconds to get through, and then people re uh, react to it. I don't know the feeling, because I've been there. That would be nice. Help Ripple out. There we go. That'll do. Help Ripple out. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm just typing something down real quick. Let's see, how, let's see, the shark pony, shark pony, I thought she was more of a mermaid pony. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well then, let's get this started. Okay, who donated that? Uh, thank you, Birch. I swear, every time I hear that sound, it just gets me when I least expect it. I think I may need to change the sound effect because holy crap. The mermaid tail isn't real. Oh. If I could, I would donate 5k to her. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be 5k. I mean, she's already got, like, she's more than halfway in the donation goal. A pony that was cursed to be a mer pony, like a reverse mermaid thing. Hmm. At the moment, the best we can do is sharing. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, I'm very sorry about that night as you're, uh, 87. Since you're doing a Sonic game, why not use the sound when the points complete counting the end of the Sonic level? Wait, what? Let's see. Use the sound when the... Oh, you mean the ring sound effect when somebody donates? I have to give it a, like, I have to give it a few seconds when it's replying. Y H. What does that mean? Yeah, uh I think he means a custom sound. Yeah, no, um Okay. Alright, uh let's see. Your opponent likes a she got. Oh, okay. Playing my link to the past randomizer while I wait. I had item locations, door entrances, enemy locations random. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think uh, we already know what's happening. So let's go ahead and get started on playing the actual game. Let me just first uh, transition over and then set everything up. 